so earlier when the light ray is passing through different more mediums uh, then we have derived an equation when the light is traveling from the glass lab here is the this one is the glass lab refractive index of the glass and it is air and it is also air whenever the light ray is passing through the glass slab it faces it suffering two refractions means uh, the incident ray kl is uh, always suffered here the one is the refraction and here one is the refraction until the, the total kl incident ray is uh, displaced laterally with the angle of deviation delta means uh, here the kl kl incident ray incident ray suffered two refractions suffered two refractions two refractions displaced to some of the distance laterally displaced laterally means uh, kl displaced displaced uh, laterally displaced uh, laterally here so wherever the kl ray is incident on the slab which is of uh, its thickness is uh, t is the thickness of the glass slab and uh, which is uh, making an angle i1 is the incident angle this is the refracted angle is uh, r1 initially whenever the incident ray is uh, incident on the face of ab then uh, it has to move in this direction the total angle diffracted refracted to this this position means uh, here m n is the lateral displacement so here is that m n dash is all perpendicular to kl incident ray means uh, this is the perpendicular line ml is a uh, perpendicular to this is the kl line so here it is that we can say that mn is perpendicular to kl means uh, here m n dash is a uh, m n dash is a uh, laterally displaced lateral displacement lateral displacement of the light ray so we to find out the what is the lateral displacement how the what is the lateral displacement we should find out that here we have that that m l n dash is the delta angle m n m l n dash is equal to delta b the angle here three three, three but we, we have similar triangles is there and here is also one of the triangle is uh, for that l l dash m is there and uh, l m n dash is there two refractions total two different triangles is there so that's why first of all we should write the triangle from triangle m l n dash m l n dash from the triangle of m l n dash the angle be the delta so here is that from triangle m l n dash sin delta is equal to sin delta is equal to we know that sin delta means uh, opposite by hypotenuse so opposite is the m n dash by hypotenuse be the l m l m so here it is that m n dash is equal to l m sin delta l m sin delta this is considered as equation number 1 if in case of the triangle the triangle l l dash m l l dash m in that case the r1 is the angle so here it is that cos r1 here is cos r1 cos r1 means uh, the total adjacent by adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent be the l l dash l l dash be the adjacent hypotenuse be the l m hypotenuse is l m from that l l dash is equal to l l dash is equal to l m cos r1 l m cos r1 but we know that l l m is equal to l l dash is equal to thickness of the glass slab so here it is that whenever t is equal to l m cos r1 from that lm is equal to t by cos r1 cos it's equation number 2 here it is that when the l l dash is equal to thickness of the glass slab since uh, l l dash l l dash is the l l dash is the thickness 
thickness of a glass slab thickness of a glass slab so here it is that l l dash is the thickness of glass slab so that's why l l dash is equal to t here we are writing that we are substituting these two equation in the one then because of m n dash be the m n dash be the lateral displacement so we are writing that m n dash is equal to l m is equal to we know the value t by cos r1 into sin delta but the angle of deviation delta we know that the angle of deviation this is i1 and this is also i1 belongs to i1 if we want to know the delta i1 minus r1 means uh, here delta is equal to i1 minus r1 so from that equation then we can get m n dash is equal to t into sin of i1 minus r1 by cos r1 this is the equation for this is the equation for m n dash means uh, m n dash is equal to t of here it is that m n equal to t of t sin of i1 minus r1 by cos r1 this is the equation for the lateral displacement means when once again the light incident on the light ray is incident on the glass slab and it faces the two refractions at point l and m then if they have before refraction this is the actual path of the incident ray so that's why due to the two suffering of uh, two refractions the incident ray displaced from this path to the m so the displacement is called as a lateral displacement so to know that m n dash is the lateral displacement so that's why m n is perpendicular to the incident ray k l so here it is k l is incident ray suffering two refractions k l displaced laterally to the mn is perpendicular to kl mn is a perpendicular to kl mn is the lateral displacement because of light is displaced from this point to the this point that is lateral displacement from mln means a m l n dash m l n dash is, is equal to delta be the angle then triangle l n m l n dash we know that sin sin delta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse so here opposite is a m n dash that is lateral displacement and a hypotenuse be the l m so l m so from that equation m n dash is equal to l m sin delta then next uh, we are going to the the triangle l l l dash m this is the triangle we are going to know next uh, then from the l l dash m uh, cos r1 is equal to r1 be the angle so here it is that r1 is equal to adjacent to by hypotenuse adjacent is the l l dash and hypotenuse be the l m so we are substituting that equation then l l dash is equal to l m cos r1 but we know that l l dash is equal to l l dash is equal to t means uh, here this is the thickness of the glass slab here l l dash this is the thickness of the glass slab so here it is the thickness of the glass slab we are substituting then we can get that l m is equal to t by cos r1 so whenever we substituting two in equation one equal substituting substituting equation 2 in a equation 1 equation 1 then we can get that m n dash is equal to lm we know the value t by cos r1 so we are substituting t by cos r1 into sin delta from that equation also we know that delta is equal to from the angle of deviation delta is equal to i1 minus r1 then only we can get the delta so here is the delta is equal to i1 minus r1 then m n dash is equal to t into sin of i1 minus r1 by cos r1 this is about a lateral displacement of the glass slab whenever the light incident ray when the incident ray is passing through the glass slab then it is a lateral displacement so we know that the lateral displacement which obviously proportional to the thickness of a glass slab means a lateral displacement lateral displacement obviously is a proportional to proportional to displacement uh, lateral displacement is proportional to thickness of thickness t of a glass slab 
glass slab means uh, when the thickness of the glass slab is increases the thickness of a glass slab is increases then here is also lateral displacement is also the lateral displacement will increase by the increasing the angle of incidence means uh, if the angle of incidence increases then uh, the distance from the refractor ray to the distance of the lateral displacement point will be also increases so that's why here it is that the lateral displacement lateral displacement increases lateral displacement uh, increases with a uh, increase in a uh, increase in a uh, angle of incidence angle of incidence angle of incidence uh, i1 so here it is that if the angle of incidence is increases then the the length distance also increases by increasing the this light rate so that's why m and is also distances it depends on the angle of incidence so here it is that the lateral displacement is also depends on that the proper always proportional to the thickness of the glass here it is that m is t if the t is increases then the here displacement of lateral displacement is also increases also whenever the angle of incidence is also increases then uh, the lateral displacement is also increases so it depends on that the thickness of a glass plate lateral displacement depends on the thickness of a glass plate and uh, angle of incidence also this is about uh, the lateral displacement when the incident ray is passing through a glass slab or any another medium how to find out the lateral displacement means uh, by apple by suffering with the two refractions the lateral displacement this is the actual path of the light ray and uh, this, due to the refraction the light ray is passed incident is this point so that's why this is the lateral displacement